said, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of fathers upon children and their children. For example, in Numbers chapter 6, from verse 25 to 35, number 16, rather, number 16, 25 to 35, when God was going to judge Pura, uh, Deta, and Abira, he invited their wives and children to be gathered to death so that the ground can swallow all of them together at once. In 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 20 to 27, 2 Kings chapter 5, from verse 20 to 27, when the judgment of God was being pronounced on the Azai, Elisha said, the leprosy of Nehemiah will cleave on you and on your seed forever. In Daniel chapter 6, you can read the story from verse 1 to the end. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1 to the end. When Daniel was brought out of the den of lions, the king sent for those who threw Daniel into the den and told them not to come alone. They were to come with their wives and their children. And the children didn't know when the parents were plotting. But when they came to going down into the den of lions, they went with their parents. This is one of the reasons why salvation is an urgent matter. Because in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the Bible says, if you are in Christ, then you are a new creature. All things are passed away, people, all things have become new. You join a new family when you become born again. Whatever causes may be coming down, swimming down towards you, once you are born again, you are moved out of his way. You now become a member of the family of God. That's why if you love anyone and you know the fellow is not yet born again, you shouldn't relax. Help the fellow. Because you never can tell what is already coming down the generation the was that very now when you also look at what God said here to Eli why your people were still in Egypt have chosen them as to be the priest your, your father's house long ago I set them apart Long ago, I said that the, the, the offerings that should be given to me, that part of it should be diverted to your family. You were you, uh, made special. How come that you are now doing this to me? A good study of the scriptures will show you that probably the worst Thing is that of ingratitude. When you find someone who does not appreciate what has been done for him or her, who does not know how to show gratitude, uh, stay away from such a fellow. Because when you read the story of what happened, the original sin in Genesis chapter 3 in the Garden of Eden, you will see what I'm talking about. God gave man a whole garden. It wasn't Adam who 
planted the garden. God has planted the garden. And everything he could ever need is in the garden. All manners of fruits. The Bible says that garden was full of uh, gold, the purest kind of gold. It's everything he can need. And God said, of all the trees here, I want to reserve one for myself. Don't touch this one. The rest, you can have them. A man still went ahead and ate the only one that was reserved for God. At the end of the day, he lost everything. When you read Malachi chapter 3, from verse 8 to 10, Malachi 3, verse 8 to 10, where God says, uh, if you don't bring all the tithes to my house, you are cursed. So, what he is actually saying is, what's wrong with you? Whatever you have, I give it to you. According to Deuteronomy chapter 8, from verse 11 to 18, they turn on me from 11 to 18. How come you can't even say thank you with 10%? That's why God said, well, if you don't appreciate what I've done, then if you don't appreciate blessing, maybe you appreciate the curse. When you look at 1 Samuel chapter 15 from verse 1 to the end, 1 Samuel 15 from verse 1 to the end, and you compare it with 1 Samuel chapter 10 from verse 1 to the end, 1 Samuel chapter 10 from verse 1 to the end, you will see why God was so angry with King Saul. King Saul, when I wanted to appoint you a king, you yourself said, me, of all people, my tribe is the smallest tribe in Israel. My family is the smallest uh, family in our tribe. I am the smallest in my family. You want to make me king? He went and hid himself. Because he himself saw, I am nothing. God now sent him on an errand. And he didn't carry out the instructions of God. He has become big now. So when the man of God came to talk to him in 1 Samuel 15, then it reminded him. You were small. You were not even in your own eyes. How come now? You now become big, and you've forgotten the one who promoted you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the elders have a say in Africa. When you've done good to someone and the fellow doesn't appreciate it, it's as if you have been robbed. I am Robert. If you, if you are dealing with someone who is ungrateful, it's as the same thing as if you are dealing with I'm Robert. But that, that's how terrible ingratitude can be. Maybe there's only one more point here. And that's found in First Samuel chapter 2, verse 30 there. God says, <laughs> If you honor me, I will honor you. You don't honor me, he said, fine. I will respond accordingly. Mm -hmm. Oh, in mathematics, there's what we call the Newton's law of motion. Put in simple language, it means action and reaction are opposite equal and opposite. What 
want to show you it. What your behavior will determine what God will do in this cross. That's why in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10, Proverbs 3, verse 9 to 10, he says, Honor the Lord with your first fruit. He said, Then our God will now respond. And then you won't even have room to contain the blessing. Dishon on him. <laughs> and he will show you the one who made the pencil also made the eraser. So I said, The fathers are will stand before me forever. He said, But now I say, no more. If you don't like my present decision, go ahead, sue me. Mm. One thing that is very frightening about the anger of God is that when he's angry, he might give you a sign. The sign could not prepare a blessing. So they like, I will give you a sign that what I'm saying is true. The two boys who are misbehaving, I will see to it that they die the same day. He said, if there's anyone left in his house, it will be to become beggars. The house of God. Uh, don't mess with God. Wonderful, wonderful God. That one of his wonders is his anger. Learn to be grateful. Gratitude and destroy everything you have had. I pray that the Almighty God will give us the grace to respond to Him in gratitude, mm -hmm. even before it is too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of the ways of responding to Him in gratitude is by shouting a very big hallelujah. Yes, 